So if you go to API 510 course, uh, this is, uh, I'll explain the full course. Uh, so let's see what this course has. Uh, this course is CPD accredited. Uh, so it's got 60 CPD credit hours. You shall have uh, uh, eight hours of video in this course, 208 lectures, 1300 questions, and 3500 flashcards. Uh, you got the access of 120 days, 24 7 course access, plus the online support, as I told you here. If you have any general queries or uh, any technical queries, anything is not clear, or you have any access problem, you can always contact us throughout the course. Uh, so this is 60 CPD credit hours and covers, uh, it's got 13 modules, uh, 208 lectures, and it covers all the publication, latest publication effectivity sheet. That's 510, uh, pressure vessel code, 571 damage mechanism, 572 uh, inspection practice for pressure vessel, it's a recommended practice, 576, uh, pressure relieving devices, 577, welding inspection and metallurgy, uh, 578, uh, material verification program, or as famously known PMI, positive material identification, PCC2, repair of piping and pressure vessels, as with section 5, uh, non-destructive testing code, and as with section 8, Pressure vessel construction code that is extensively used in the industry uh, and asthma section 9, welding uh, and uh, welders qualification and building procedure. So module 1, we explain the study plan, how you go through the navigation, um, navigate the documents and explain uh, distribution of exam questions. And we have some exam tips and there is a free quiz that you can use here. You can click on this button and then use our free quiz here. Okay. Um, model two, we explain the body of knowledge and the scoring area. So as long as you are good at high scoring areas, uh, you're competent, you should be safe and pass the exam. The important point is that uh, good at the highest scoring areas. So we explain where the questions are coming from. On module 3 through 10, uh, we explain the rest of the publication effective sheet. That's 510, 571, 572, inspection practice, 576, PRD or pressure relieving devices, 577, welding inspection methodology, 78, uh, PMI, PCC2, repair of piping and pressure vessels, and section five, section eight, and section nine. And we have brought a lot of pictures, and plus, uh, the most important thing is we have explained the knowledge and concepts behind all these, and also the importance facts and figures. And module 11, uh, it's got so many lessons, uh, it's practically the highlights of the uh, publication effectivity sheet for each lesson uh, and each document. And module 12, we have 27, four sets of uh, flashcards uh, from highlights of the modules and shall be treated as potential exam question. And we have 850 questions between three sets of closed and open book, uh, five sets of closed and open book exams, and as well as practice question and quizzes in module 13. Uh, if you opted for uh, premium, or mock exam package, you can always uh, pay the difference and get access to the full course that we strongly advise to buy the full course. Um, so our uh, questions, mock exam questions, are in the spirit of the API examination. That's basically focused on verifying your knowledge of pressure vessel, how to apply them. And uh, it also checks their understanding of the concepts and especially the flashcards, that's where you need to focus on. Um, we have highlighted all the important potential questions. And uh, uh, remember that API does not ask uh, the question directly from these codes and recommended practices, uh, but they will uh, provide you 
uh, a question in a context or in a scenario. So they want to know if you understand the concepts and principles rather than merely memorizing the facts and not the figures. So it's very important that you understand the concept and how to apply them and what brought us in recommended practice, which is actually a good engineering practice and uh, a concise version of years of engineering experience and uh, operation experience. Uh, so the depth of each topic covered is proportional to, to the expected number of questions. Uh, this is like because you want to spend your study time more efficiently uh, and concentrating on high score exam topics. Uh, for 571, many candidates face difficulties, so we made exception, we made uh, lots of uh, flashcards and uh, lots of questions we brought that so you can get uh, the most out of it. We have also uh, complemented our mock exam question with some practical type of question. So these are mostly for closed book uh, because uh, this is, you should know as an inspector, API 510 pressure vessel inspector uh, on top of your, from the top of your head, uh, because this is like day-to-day -day questions. Uh, and this is called awareness type of question or practical type of question. We have also brought a lot of videos, exam tips, time management techniques, and mock exam with explanations, and many more. Um, the same way that API designed the question, uh, our question is designed by a team of SMEs, subject matter experts, and the course is revised regularly based on the latest edition of the publication effectively sheet. As a part of our continuous campaign, uh, we pay special attention to candidates feedback and queries since this would highlight whether we could explain a topic well enough or not and the objective to it, uh, is to have the least number of queries as our one of our key performance indicators and uh, all your feedbacks uh, we see that maybe we didn't you know explain it uh, very clearly and we revise that part as the question comes in um, so, as I said, you have a mock exam package. That's the cheapest version, has 1300 questions, 24 sets of flashcards, and one hour of video. And the premium mock exam, which has the same number of mock exam questions, 3500 flashcards, and one hour of video clips. And uh, if you, anytime you feel like you want to uh, upgrade, you can pay the difference only. You don't need to buy our other package option uh, full uh, pay the full price uh, and uh, our uh, full course has also the advantage that, that for any reason whatsoever you fail you couldn't attend it you're sick whatever happened we will renew it for free for you for another four months uh, you can always write to us inspectortraining.com or use our whatsapp and you can also study our first and second module for free. I'll quickly go through our course content here. Uh, so you've got basic facts. We put a video here, including this video that's going to be uploaded, and exam tips, and a benchmark quiz. That's free, you can try, always try that. And you can always try that here, the free quiz, and you can press this button to buy our courses. And it goes through PayPal, uh, so your uh, details, bank details are safe. We don't have your bank details. It goes directly through PayPal. Uh, so this is a 120 days uh, course access, 24 seven online support plus course access. And on module two, we talk about body of knowledge and the scoring area. The whole module three, as you can see is about NDT asthma section 5, introduction to NDE, um, general requirements, leak test, magnetic, liquid, penetrant, radiography, UT thickness measurement, and we put a UT which is not exactly coming to the um, exam, all of it, but it's good to know. We have explained what is coming for the exam, and a video of NDTs, 
courses and a flash course. We have four sets of flash course plus two sets of MOOC exam question on ASME section uh, nine. Um, welding engineering is covered in module four and that includes a welding procedure, welder qualification, welding materials and the videos and also a pictorial of WPS and WPQ. Uh, what is in, what is out, do's and don'ts and ASME flashcards and practice questions. On 577, uh, welding inspection, we talk about uh, welding process. There are eight popular processes that came in 577. Uh, welding uh, inspection and a video and a visual inspection and weld defects and repairs plus cue cards and practice questions. And as you can see, the 571 damage mechanism and corrosion. Uh, this is very extensive terms and definitions. Uh, and the popular uh, damage mechanism methods that you need to know according to the body of knowledge and publication effectivity sheet. Um, we brought lots of flashcards, six of them, and five sets of mock exam questions that might come. And as in section eight, uh, we talk about uh, uh, construction code, pressure vessel construction code, and we have uh, brought this in by topics and also by part number or section number. And uh, we have two sets of flashcards and practice questions. And uh, you might appreciate that out of 170 questions, not more than 10, 12 questions come from here. So unlike many training providers, uh, that they might concentrate a lot on this. There are not many questions coming. So we just... Uh, explained enough to cover the publication effectivity sheet and uh, uh, get your appreciation of 510, which is actually coming from ASME section 8, but then 510 is the dominant document here for this study. And then 572, we brought it first before 510 because this is the inspection practice, so you appreciate what is actually done at the field. It's a very useful document, and as an API 510 pressure vessel inspector, you would actually frequent these documents a lot more than 510 because 510 is about do's and don'ts and 572 inspection practice is about how you do it and what you do. So we brought uh, five sets of flashcards uh, and a practice question and then the all important 510 which is introduction to and then all the chapters one by one is explained in details. This is a 60 page long document, but this is a, one of the most important document here and almost 40, 45% in combination with 572. You're talking about half of the question coming from this a lot. So you need to really concentrate on this, especially that 60 page long. Uh, five sets of flashcards and a practice question. And then the new addition of uh, documents that has been recently introduced and will be applicable from next exam is repair of pressure equipment and piping and then API 576 pressure relieving device. This is very concise because there are not many questions coming, probably four or five questions, three, four questions coming from there, pressure relieving devices and all you need to know is the very basics of types of four types of pressure limb devices. And the PMI, positive material identification. Again, uh, this document has recently been expanded significantly, but as an inspector, you should know the types of the PMIs and certification, the recording, the, any NCR, where they are used and that sort of thing. So very concise. And we brought some flashcards and then the, we have 63 lessons on publication effectivity sheet, which is the highlights of all this. For example, we got uh, all the ASME section five. Uh, these are around 10, eight lessons on ASME section five, and we cover all the publication effective sheet, the highlights where, so you appreciate where this is coming from our course lessons. And then ASME section nine and uh, 
577. As you can see, we went smoothly from NDT to welding, to welding inspection, to PMI, to pressure relieving devices, damage mechanism, and uh, to piping construction code, and inspection practice 572, and then finally the 510 uh, inspection code, pressure vessel. And then uh, we also brought again this flash car, so you, you can go quickly to the flash car section and see uh, the highlights. This is especially last few days before your exam starts, it's very important. And then uh, finally we have the uh, benchmark quizzes, uh, practice question on NDT welding, uh, engineering welding inspection, damage mechanism, piping, uh, construct, uh, pressure vessel construction code and inspection practice 572 and then the open and closed book five sets three closed book and two open book so this is uh, the whole of the 510 pressure vessel inspector um, if you have any question please contact us through whatsapp or email and we shall be happy to help uh, for listening